What's going on everybody? Come back. I want to introduce you to one of my new, well, cameras. Well, what's going on everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Hopefully this video finds you well into the new year. So, I have added a new camera to the arsenal. Got it for Christmas this year. Uh, if you follow me along on Instagram, you would you already know this. Um, been mean to do this, been wanting to upgrade. So I have two GoPros already. I have a GoPro Sessions 4. I have a GoPro Hero Black or Hero 5 Black. And now I am filming on my new GoPro Hero 8 Black. So, um, this video is going to be introducing you to my GoPro Hero 8. So anyway, I've been wanting a newer GoPro. I knew I wanted one of the newer series. Um, I knew the GoPro 7 didn't have the microphone on the front like this one does. And I knew that if I wanted that, I'd have to go from 8 to 10. 8, 9, or 10, one of the two. So after considerations, I know the 10, they'll be working the bugs out of it before long. I know the 9, there's some issues that people have with it. But the 8, it seemed like they got a lot of the stuff that was needed right and all the firmware updates did everything it needed to do. So, with that said, that's why I went with the 8 and not the 9 or the 10. Also, I look at the cost effectiveness. Um, this thing will shoot 4K. Uh, yes, the Hero 10 will shoot, I think, 10 to 5K. But for the most part, I always upload in 1080. Um, reason for being is there's still a lot of people that watch my channel that, you know, they're doing good to get 480 and 720. Um, so a 1080 video is going to look really good where they're watching. Um, but I want to gonna try out all the features the hyper smooth is on right now I've actually got um, everything turned on it needs to be turned on for filming going down the road right now the camera is literally shaking like this but the image is clear clean I mean it looks really good I'm using my phone as a video monitor right now so anyways uh, we're going to get back to the house here in a little bit I'm going to throw in some road footage using this camera so you can see some of that uh, I am I think I'm recording yeah in 24 frames per second actually I'm recording at 2.7 K so I'll down that to 1080 when I upload um, I know this helps a lot of people you know not really sure where to run their cameras how to run their cameras um, but if you want cinematic type stuff, they say to run them in 24. If you want slow-mo, you need to go a little higher as far as frames per second. You know, up to the, the 60s, the 120s, you know, 120 frames per second. You can really slow that down and it's good and clean. Um, so anyway, there's that. We will stop it here. I'm going to actually change the GoPro, move it to my stick and I'm going to go over some of the things I use for my GoPro in a later video. You will see that coming down the road. Right now this is going to be all test footage, audio footage. Everything is coming off of this camera right now. Yeah, I'll probably do a little color grading here and there. Uh, hopefully I don't have to do too much. It is an overcast day so it's not real sunny out. It um, not the best prime time to be doing video in a vehicle but looking at what I'm seeing on the screen down below it looks pretty darn good so we're gonna go from there let me get you some road footage 
and some other stuff with it and uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we're back home with the GoPro Hero 8 and I'll go over a couple of things I have for it. Some of this stuff I've had forever that I've used on my other GoPros. Uh, one of the things I got for this one is the uh, uh, ScanDisk Extreme Pro Micro SDXC UHSI card with adapter. I've got plenty of these adapters, but it's 128 gigabyte. It's good for 4K video. Um, but I've used this Extreme Pro by ScanDisk in this camera and love it. Um, you want to make sure you get a good fast reading uh, uh, disc when you're recording in 4K or any of the other, well, especially in 4K because the faster it writes, the clearer it's going to be and all that good stuff. Um, there's tons of videos out there on looking at the different cards and what's best for your application But I recommend the extreme pro um, Especially like I said, especially if you're recording in 4k um, Even in 1080 you're gonna get a much better picture when it comes to reading it and recording on it um, so then I also have the windshield, this windshield mount Joby Pod. I've shown this before. Um, it's suction cups to the windshield, then you can have the camera facing you. Um, then there's the typical windshield mount that you can face towards the outside, outside of the vehicle. Or you can use it to, um, you know, you can turn, well, yeah, you could turn the camera around where it's facing you. I like this one because it gets a little closer to you so you don't look so far away. This stick, I love this stick. I've had this forever. I've used this many different ways, many different cameras. Um, actually, I was using this stick when I first started YouTube with my blue camera, my little Canon. But you can extend it out and um, get some pretty cool shots. That's how I'm getting some of the shots in Jeeps with. And then for this time, I have picked up a new Joby. This is um, the 1K or the uh, GoPro style Joby pod is what they call it because it comes with the GoPro mount. Uh, but you can stick that on there. Let's see if you can see that. I may have this tilted too far. But uh, you can look at that. You know, you can set this mount up anywhere and be able to set up your shots and you know do video. If this is the only camera you're working with, then this would be great, um, especially when you're out in the field or camping or hiking or whatever. Uh, even if you're just using it for a weekend or a blog, this would be perfect because you can sit there and hold on to it. It's just right. This stick works pretty good too. I think I got this one at Target. That's the name on it. But uh, I like this too because you can do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, I've got to put, I'm going to put a screen protector on this and a lens protector on the lens because this one does not come off like it does on the fives or the, I think the nines and tens, the, their lens is now removed. These didn't. So I'm going to put a screen protector on it to save the lens, but, uh, to go over the real quick over the specs on the camera, uh, like I said, there's tons of videos out there on this. But it's 12 megapixel pictures. It is 4K video. Uh, 1080p you can do down to do up to 240 frames per second on this thing. Uh, 33 feet underwater. Voice controlled. If you don't know what voice control is on GoPro, you can set it up where you can tell GoPro to turn on and it'll turn on. You can tell it to record and it'll start recording. 
Uh, pretty neat. I have used it, but I will say this, it burns battery quicker. Um, eight times slow-mo on this thing. Then you got uh, data overlays. I haven't tried that yet. That's something I may try here pretty soon. Then you've got a uh, time warp. I haven't tried that yet. We may get, if you want to see different things on this camera, let me know and I'll shoot, I'll do a video on just that stuff. Um, you can also 1080, you can do uh, 1080 live streaming with the GoPro. I would suggest get the, uh, um, they make an adapter, it goes in there that you can plug up so you're not running off a of battery. There's no way you'll very be able to um, live stream very long on that battery. Uh, Super Photo, HDR, and RAW. So anyways, that's it for the GoPro Hero 8. I'm glad to have it. Can't wait to get put it to good use really soon. That's coming up. Um, I guess January is going to become the month of photography and video. So stay tuned if you have any questions or want to see something else about it. Let me know. We'll bring it to you. But that's it for this one. I appreciate everybody watching. And it's like we always say, be prepared. See you on the next one.